Brooke, just for you tonight, uh, felt like with their kind of lack of size, you guys made a priority to try to get you to the front of the rim. Just what did you see out there with, you know, your ability to kind of live in the paint a little bit? Today? Yeah. Um, you know, we have, we have such good playmakers, obviously, and, and Drew is so great tonight at finding a lot of people. He's such a threat. You know, obviously, people have to um, play him honestly and, and guard him. And so it was just... The only job that I had to do and we had to do as bigs was, you know, get to the right spot under the rim uh, and, you know, find you. Um, that last possession for them, um, did it catch you guys at all by a surprise that they played, like, without a timeout and kind of push it up off of that? Or, or just what did you see on that final possession? Um, you know, they, they kind of played aggressive that way all night. You know, they're, they're real young, obviously. They're they're – Tempo uh, trends that way, so I guess it wasn't too surprising in that that they, uh, you know, kind of just try to take us by surprise all night in that regard. So it's just more of the same. Uh, just your thought process then on like the scramble, like trying to get to everyone. I know Bud's like we did a good job getting to Bogdanovich, and then had to work kind of after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we definitely did a good job of making it tough, um, making him get a tough one, and then uh, you know West did a great job of tracking down that last rebound and securing it. Uh, Brooke, um, just generally, like when you are back in the pick and roll, just how do you try to find the balance between impacting the guy with the ball and still protecting the rim? Like, is it just dependent on opponent, or is there like general principles you're trying to stick? Yeah, to? I mean, I, I do try to change what I do, varying on the opponent. You know, it depends how aggressive the guy is, who the player is coming downhill. If he's more scorer or pass first guy, and the same thing if the the big if what kind of threat he is what he likes to do so there's definitely a thought process into uh, who's in the situation. Just last unbeaten team left in the NBA. Just what do you like the most about the way you've y'all been playing so far? Um, I think we've been uh, very confident, uh, very aggressive, and uh, you know we, we've used our size to our advantage. It's been great. We've obviously guarded well, which is something I take pride in. And, you know, our team's uh, definitely the best defensive team in the NBA, you know, and, and that's something we can do every night regardless of how we're shooting. Um, and then uh, we've been doing a great job. Our focus has been crashing the offensive glass. We've been doing a great job of that too. And the Pistons, one of the younger teams around, they beat Golden State last night, come here and take you all to the wire. Just what was your impression of them? Yeah, they have a very great team, a lot of talented guys there you know, uh, learning how to play, but they've been learning quickly and getting be a lot better. Um, they're definitely better than their record, uh, and, and they're going to play as hard as they can until the wire each and every night. Brooke, obviously an impressive start for the team, but for you especially, where's your confidence coming from so early in the season? Um, I think it's just kind of shared throughout the team. You know, we know who we are. We know that we've put in the work. So uh, going out on the court, uh, you, you can't help but be confident. Um, and, and again, everything starts with our defense. You know, we get stops and we go. It's pretty hard to beat us. When you are in the midst of a game where you're playing against such a young, energetic team and, you know, kind of switching up the flow a bit with their flow, can you talk a little bit about that from a veteran's perspective and understanding the game so well that you can switch it up with the youngins? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, they, they obviously like to use their, their youth uh, and, and their quickness to their advantage. So we definitely want to try to control the game, get the game a bit in our tempo. And, uh, you know, when you get stops, you're able to do that. You can, you can definitely change the way the game flows uh, and kind of keep the pace a bit more in our favor. Uh, at one point in the second half, I think you guys were 0 of 14 from three. Um, and then Drew hits a step back three. You hit one, and then, of course, Drew closes it with another step back through. Just what do, what do you see from him and his ability to seemingly create space out of nowhere with that step back and then also hit the, you know, those clutch shots? Yeah, I mean, that's that confidence we talk about. You know, that's what Drew does. He works on that every day. Um, and I, he's just so underrated, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's honestly pretty disrespectful at this point how good Drew is and just – how little attention he gets for it. But he, he's the kind of player, he doesn't care about that. He goes out, he's going to do his job every night and be the player that we know he's capable of being. Thank you, guys.